this is a brick organization. This, the UN is useless. I cannot think of a more useless organization than the UN. Before I talk about the whole Israel thing, I'm going to just take you some years back. I'm going to go take you back to 0203. 0203. So this was before they were about to go into Iraq for the Iraq war. So the notion was, okay, ret retaliate to what happened again in September 11th. And the notion was, oh, ha, ha, Afghanistan. That is where bin Laden is. So that's where you need to, to go. Then sort of was like, oh, no, 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 no. Iraq, because they are weapons of mass destruction. Okay, wait, 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 hang on. But what does Iraq and Saddam Hussein have to do with Afghanistan and retaliating to terrorism on your own home soil? So the UN was like, wait, if you believe, first of all, it's crazy that you're even going into Iraq because of weapons of mass destruction, because why? You could, there are several other countries that have weapons of mass destruction. But fine, if you want to go, we're going to take one of our investigators to Iraq, check if see they have weapons of mass destruction. If they have, fine. If they don't, then you, you can't go. Do you realize that even before the guy finishes an investigation, they already went in? And the, and the key thing is this, veto. <laughs> You know that I believe there are only four or five countries that have veto power. So we can all vote and say, nope, you can't go and invade Iraq. But America and UN can say, we have a veto power and we veto that ruling. So then you say to yourself, that, so of what point is there in us voting? If we vote to say, no, you can't do something, and you can just veto that vote and then just ignore that vote, then what is the point of this council? And only a select few countries and nations have that veto power. This is the reality here. The UN doesn't exist. The UN is not the world police. The world police are America, the UK, Germany, France, and so forth. But really, the world police, the people who run things, is America. This, the reality is, don't live in La La Land. I'm like, oh, but we have a security council and it's a world police and this is where we are, we are the democratic and all the countries can come together, kumbaya, kumbaya. No. The reality is whoever has the biggest guns and the biggest army rules the roost. It's like the playground. The guy who is the biggest and the strongest, he is the guy that says what goes and what doesn't go. So, because every time on my YouTube feed, there's, a, there's another president of a country that is condemning Israel. What Israel is doing is wrong. What Israel is doing is wrong. What Israel is wrong. <laughs> and I'm watching it and I just laugh like, wait, mate, you're wasting your breath. You're wasting your breath. I mean, so you can condemn all you want. Who cares? Because Israel... I think, so they're now launching a grand assault because obviously they're going after Hezbollah whose main base is in Lebanon. And they believe that they're justified based on what happened to them on October 7th. But in a world that should make sense, there are rules of, and there's international law. So however aggrieved you may be to launch a war onto someone, you have to go through particular procedures. But the reality is, Israel and America are allies. And Israel knows that we have America in our pockets. America, they helped to construct us and greatest us alongside the UK back in 1945. They have helped to supply us with weapons, with machinery. And we are extremely close allies. So Israel knows that we can get away with anything because America ain't going to do nothing based on our close ties to America. And the fact that Israel just going in, not ignoring international law, ignoring the proper decorum, just shows you that, guys, I don't want to hear anything about those, about those bombs at the UN. The UN is a bomber's trash organization. I said it. It's a trash organization. Bunch of clowns.
it's a bunch of clowns. Like, even the for people even going there giving a speech again, I, again, I'm sorry, I don't want to sound harsh or anything. You look stupid. I don't want to disrespect these presidents and these leaders and everything, but she looks stupid when you're giving the speech of like, we condemn Israel, what Israel is doing is wrong and everything. Bro, who cares what you think? America, UK and all these guys, they rule. They rule. <laughs> so the United Nations, it's merely just a mirage to make you think we live in a democratic world, to make you think that, hey, we live in a world where everybody has a say. So you do realize, because I was watching a video, I think it was on Reuters, and they were um, interviewing this lady, I've forgotten the lady's name, and this was about America wanting to um, offer Africa and African um, countries a place in the Security Council, sorry, a permanent place in the Security Council, however, with no veto power. And this lady, when she was speaking to a writer, she was saying that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't think we're stupid. We, this ain't colonial times anymore. You want an African team on the Security Council? Oh, cool, of course. We also want veto power as well. So how come you get the veto power, but we don't? <laughs> so if, let's say, I'm representing Nigeria, I'm like, I want veto power. Why can't I have veto power? So, so because, the, do you know what I, what I want? I just want people to talk, I, I want people to talk straight. F screw the United Nations. Screw it. America says what goes. America, alongside the UK and all of these countries, they say what goes. The people who created this world through colonialism, carved up the world, screwed up the world, screwed up countries, messed up countries and everything due to colonialism and how they wanted to rule the world. These are the guys that rule the world now and says what goes. The United Nations, it's, a, it's completely a fugazi. It's a mirage. It's a lie. It's always been a lie. And it will always forever, forever be a lie. And Israel knows that they can get away with anything because they know that America will never reprimand them. Look at how much Israel have gotten away with for so long. <laughs> you know, because, I mean, maybe I'll do another video on the whole Israel thing, but it didn't start with October 7th. It didn't start with October 7th. And this is probably for another video. Why was the state of Israel created and how was it created? And when you look at how it was created, that is where the problem lies. And this is where we are right now. And I've always said this, and I'll expand upon this in another video. The, the two-state solution doesn't work now. Because the two-state solution, America, pushing for, America or the UK pushing for a two-state solution, you're being hypocrites. How did you rule the world? You ruled the world by taking it all. America, you went in so, wiped us all the Native Americans, all us. England, colonialism, India, most of Africa, boom. You sent all of your criminals to Australia, killed all of the ab aborigines, total rule. So there was no two-state, three-state solution in how you were building your empires. You took everything <laughs> and you ruled everything. So why should you now push for the two-state solution now? What should happen is it's winner takes all. Either Israel rules everything or um, Palestine, they rule everything. <laughs> because trust me, so much blood has been spilled. People have stepped over the line so much. A two-state solution can never work right now because this this has now gone way beyond. It's gone way beyond. But from this whole scenario with Lebanon and everything is America rule. And if you're friends with America, you're good. You're good because America are the United Nations. The United Nations is not the United Nations. The United Nations is America. They are the United Nations, and they are the guys that are true. All those guys that make all this speech from all the other countries, you're wasting your, your, your breath. Because America can ignore you, veto whatever you say, and do whatever they, they want. So Israel can do whatever the heck they want because they are allies with, with America. And America are the United Nations, and they are the guys who rule the world.